What's up, everybody? I'm the Speed and Man here with a new video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video, um, divorce is ruining men's lives. And why am I doing this quick video? Um, it's simple. You know, why is men still getting married in today's society? Why is men still getting on one knee proposing to the woman that he dreams? Why is men um, paying for weddings and trying to live the hope strategy? of trying to live the rest of their life with a woman that they know is not going to be there for a long time. Um, this is not the 40s and the 50s anymore when people got married and he's still married today. That's not the case. If anything, as as from um, as I said in one of my other um, videos, 50 to 60% of marriages end in divorce. Women file 70 to 80% of divorces in this country. Uh, 15 to 20% of marriages are, are sexless. Um, women get most of the child custody. Um, women can, can completely divorce, grape you to kingdom come. Uh, shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Um, you know, I've watched um, parts of certain documentaries. I watched some, uh, some videos about men who lost everything in divorce. They lost their house. They lost their kids. They lost the, the, the car. They lost the dogs, <laughs> the white picket fence, everything. They lost everything. And these men will either have to live um, under a bridge somewhere or they have to stay in a hotel if they still have money left over from the divorce. Because, you know, the family costs are so effed up that they will make you they will make you broke. By the time the woman's done with you, you will be broke. So you'd be lucky if you can stay in a hotel for a few weeks or whatever until family family can can come save your ass. Um, there's a lot of men out here committing suicide. And this is something we don't talk about as much. A lot of men are committing suicide off this. Uh, getting divorced by the woman that they thought they, that they thought loved them. They lost everything. They lost their money. They lost their house that, that he paid for for years. He, the car that he paid for, they, he, they lost everything. That man lost everything. And that man ended up committing suicide. Uh, men are out here committing suicide. There's men out here... Um, you know, you know, suffering from um, um, depression, deep depression, especially if the woman is moving the kids from city to city, state to state, uh, to the point where the man can't even see his own kids. That's his identity. And if a man can't see his own kids, that that's going to F with him mentally. And that's why women do stuff like that is because they don't care about how the man feels. They don't care about how deep in depression he'll be. They don't care if he commits suicide. I feel bad for a lot of men, but at the same time, I don't because men should know better. Men should know not to get married in today's society. What is the benefit of getting married? We have a 60% divorce rate. Women file 80% of divorces in this country alone. Why do you think Western men are, are marrying in other countries? Because women from other countries, especially the Philippines, as I said in a previous video, in the Philippines, women don't believe in getting a divorce and they don't believe in breaking up the families. Women in the United States, they don't care if the, if the family breaks up. That's why we have so many uh, single mothers. This is why we have so many um, children being born to single mothers because women don't care if the family is together. At least in the Philippines, they actually care about keeping the family together. Why do you think a lot of Western men are marrying in the Philippines? Why do you think a lot of men are retiring in the Philippines and they find a wife out there and they marry them and they live the rest of their life with that woman? Because women out there don't believe in divorce. They don't believe in breaking up the families. Um, women get out here in the United States, they get pregnant by random dudes. They get pregnant by losers that go to jail and prison. And then they complain about the guy being a deadbeat. Guess what? You open your legs to a deadbeat. You can't blame him. You have to blame yourself. You know, and and the result of and the result of women divorcing these guys, these guys go into deep depression, they kill themselves. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, you know. It, it baffles my mind. Like after like I don't feel bad for a lot of guys, but I do feel bad to the point where they had to commit suicide. And this is something we don't talk about as much as the men who commit suicide and the men who are suffering from deep depression because they can't see their kids. Women will, like, 
the, until the until the, the courts change, until the family courts change, men are not getting married anymore. And the men who are still getting married are dumb as hell. And, and they're going to learn the hard way down the road, especially in that seven-year age. Look at Kanye and Kim Kardashian. Why do you think Kim Kardashian is divorcing Kanye? She's going to drag him through the family courts. So men should be waking up right now. More men. We're not talking about the men that, that, that are being saved right now. We need a lot more men to wake up, smell the coffee, and realize that if you get married, this is going to be the result for you for the most part. You might be an exception to the rule, but we don't care about the exception to the rule. The statistics are not made of the exception to the rule. So st statistics are made for the majority of people who suffer from stuff like this. Whether it's depression, suicide, whatever. We don't care about the exceptions to the rule. We don't care about this and that. We care about the people who are suffering. So, as I said, I'm glad I'm not married. I'm glad I'm not in a relationship. I'm glad I don't have any kids. I don't have, to, I don't have to deal with that stuff. I don't have to worry about being dragged through the family court. I don't have to worry about being part of that 15 to 20% of, of marriages that, that, that's sexless. I don't have to worry about... Um, eighty percent of women are uh, following divorce. One of them following divorce on me. I don't have to worry about um that fifty percent, sixty percent divorce. Actually, it's around sixty. Let's be honest here. Sixty percent divorce rate. I don't have to deal with that. I live the free lifestyle. I f I focus on myself. I love myself enough to know that as as cool as it would be to get married, it's not cool to get married. Not today is not. Until the laws change and until the family courts change, men are not getting married anymore. There's no benefit. Until women know how to fall in line and be feminine, um, corroborative, and submissive and friendly, men are not going to commit to you and men are definitely not going to marry you. So, as all I want to talk about in today's video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, be smart, men. Focus on yourself. Don't get married. Don't have any kids until you are financially stable and you find the right woman, which is slim to none. Um, but focus on yourself. Don't don't chase out the women. Don't bust up inside these women, especially these American women. Don't bust up inside these chicks because they're looking for a come up. They're looking for a paycheck, which is child support. That's what they're looking for. So that's all I'm going to talk about in today's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll speak to y'all next time. Peace out.